the academia, policy makers, financiers, uh, and, all, and all these organizations that, that have an interest. In, in a second step, once we, we have uh, a critical mass of innovation knowledge in, in our uh, system, we will also develop uh, innovation tools and, and strategies for the different sectors, the, the really in innovative sectors like yeah, the creative industries, pharmacy, biotech, ICT, and so on. Also, um, to, to, to go towards um, uh, a sector uh, approach, although horizontal issues like IPR will, will always play a very uh, important role. So our plan is to set up formally uh, the, the, the platform by the end of the year. Now we are in, in, uh, in the preparatory phase. Um, ideally, we, we will have a, we will organize um, an innovation summit that comes together with with the lounge and, and which should become an, an annual conference, uh, which we could call the European Innovation Summit, something like the European Business Summit, but with a very strong focus on or a focus on, on innovation. Well, we could also uh, and we would also invite. Um, stakeholders from from outside Europe. I think it's very important to 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 be open to even collaborate with other regions from the world on the issue of, of innovation, like we do in the field of standardization, like we do in the field of information society. And why not uh, do it um, with uh, in, on the issue of of innovation? Invite some young scientists from China, from India come here and uh, do something to make to make the uh, to make Europe uh, uh, an attractive area for in innovation I maybe I do not go to this um, just by by hazard um, there is a call for proposal that has been issued by by DG uh, education and, and culture that is asking uh, to set up networks of European Institutes of Technology, not to be mixed up, but it has something to do with the European Institute of Technology, uh, to set up this type of structures like the EID, where the different stakeholders come together, build a network, uh, and, 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 um, um, and build a sustainable network. And what, what we decided to do now is we are about 20 organizations public, private, large companies, small companies, uh, um, set up this, this network and build a sort of innovation knowledge uh, basis um, and do pilot projects applying the, the innovation knowledge we collect from all the different stakeholders and do some pilots on a regional level and on in, in, a, in a given sector, probably ICT. As I said, there are many ideas for, for initial projects that, that could be done, but uh, by, by chance we are now, uh, uh, we can work uh, currently on, on, this, on this call for proposal, which, which in the end uh, does what we would have done anyway, or requires to do what we would have done anyway to set up this network of innovation stakeholders uh, across Europe. We already had a, a meeting with uh, the Director General of Education and Culture, Mrs. Odile Canta. She's responsible for the European Institute of Technologies. And if you, I don't know, are you familiar with the, the EIT a little bit maybe? This, this idea of Barroso to have a European MIT here in, in, in Europe, which then uh, the original idea was changed. It's not anymore, uh, let's say, uh, an MIT-like animal, but it, it uh, it should develop into so-called KICs, which are the knowledge uh, and um, innovation communities, not to mix up with the innovation knowledge community we build. So it's not KIC, but it's IKC, or the other way around. Uh, and these are this, this will be two or three major um, innovation networks or projects uh, in, 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 uh, in the most, let's say, in, in the most um, promising fields for Europe, for the future of Europe, for the economic future of Europe, uh, 
from 2009 on, these kicks or knowledge and innovation communities will, will be set up as, as the flagship innovation projects uh, for Europe. On the one side, EIT. On the other side, EID, again, down at the button, who could feed in to this, uh, these um, kicks from, from the EIT that could have up to 1,000 um, uh, personnel, but organized in a network uh, across Europe uh, in which, uh, on a given topic, the best brains, the most uh, excellent people will work on, on this on these uh, very important topics, which could be around energy, or renewables, or climate change, or aging uh, society. Um, it's not. This is not defined yet. It is even not yet defined. The parliament, many parliamentarians would like to define it in the regulation that is currently under 